Aside, dudes. Today we have Altar of Flame for today's like um map. There's one of my more favorite maps. I actually kind of like like just playing on this map pretty often, so I don't mind it. Um, and let's talk about the map. Let's let's, let's just get into it. Let's go. Let's do it right now. Okay. Now, Alto, kind of like Dead Cliffs, um, has a spawn trap. Only thing different is between Dead Cliffs and this map is that this map spawn traps in both spawns, both C and A spawn by candles. Um, however, this is more, uh, these spawn traps more if the, you know, team plays it correctly. But these spawn traps on this map is relatively popular. Like, it's not really that hard to get them done. So, first things first, we got the mid control, as per usual. Mid on this map is this entire area. From those stairs, to these. This is mid, essentially. This entire area. You have mid control, you basically have control of the map. Because once again, the spawn points are both C and A, back there. So, what's the angles looking like? This is when I show you the angles. If you're by C and you're looking over the attack A, you got an angle like this. You can angle into this little corridor here. If you're over here in this little like, uh, I forgot what they call this. You can angle yourself here and here. Similarly, if you're over here, you can angle yourself to tie the get the guy right behind this block I almost try to ping like I'm playing Apex Legends down or over there on those stairs and you also get an angle in the dark if you're here you get an angle there you can get an angle here over there similarity on the other side basically it's not as many angles though but on this side angle here and go around you're over this side angle here that's kind of about it I mean you can kind of shoot here too oh if you want to jump on this box which I don't recommend you can do that too but this side kind of is the weaker side in this particular map okay now you may be asking what about down here what about all down here though well in most competitive and well most comp matches B isn't really used like there's not no purpose to be here however and I'll get into that in a second this little area down here does still have a purpose we're talking about comp and sweats for the most part though which controlling mid here is extremely powerful so you have control of mid first things first and you know you're really looking good for the rest of the game now let me explain how the spawn trap works so let's say you guys get into battle, bang, 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 boom, 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 and you guys win, right? Y'all win this battle. Now let's say all of you guys are sold around this area, right? You guys just won the battle. They're gonna spawn A. Two or three, of you guys can push up and get a nice little angle on the spawn. Easy, right? Once y'all kill them off that spawn, you turn around. Maybe two guys go that way, and maybe a couple guys go on this side. And once again, you kill them off spawn, wherever they may be. And then you turn again, and do it again. <laughs> Until either eventually you guys end up dying, or they end up spawning B. Because that will happen eventually, depending on how fast you guys will take. But... And similarly, same thing for the other side. You win, you know, you go attack C, then you go back to A, and then C, and then A, and then C, and then A. Now, that's kind of a lopsided fight, though, if that happens. That's kind of a lopsided fight. Like, either one team was just hella good, and the other team wasn't, you know, that wasn't on par, whatever the case may be. This, that, this happening is basically a one-sided match. Let's talk about the weaker side first. Now, getting into B from A. B. Getting into mid from A. Now you have a couple options. You can have one guy, maybe two, maybe all of you even. You could just wrap around. Instantly wrap around. Quad push this way and just bang, bang anybody that's around or whatever, you know? 
That's one thing you could do. One thing. Beware though, they do still have nades. All of them might still have nades and they get just tons of nades at you. Another thing you can do from A, you have one guy go through there even and have the other two, which is typically what people do, kind of fight out out here. In this angle. Right? There's nothing. You can also go two and two in a sense, where one guy goes in there, one guy's here, but the other two might be wrapping around. Through B. This is also a flank method. Now you kind of have them all surrounded, right? At this point, two things can happen. They can either choose to fight everybody at once and may probably end up dead, or they could just push one guy. Most cases, they have pushed the guy in, here, in there. Um, obviously, if they do that. You two have an angle here, or you guys could just push up and now you have mid. You know? The main thing here really is getting mid. You get mid, running the next fight isn't that hard. Of course, you know. As long as it's not just one person there and they have a you know full team, that's a different story, though. But, um, yeah, so basically, down here, sort of like used for flanking in a sense. You don't like this fight that happened here, too, because obviously people have the same ideas and it's still like relatively close to each other, but is used, it's not, it's not like more important than mid. Mid control is hella important. Especially if you're playing common because you have heavy. Um Yeah, let's do C now. Just this is gonna be a little different. I'm not gonna be like editing too much into this one. So we got C now. C. <laughs> C, get it? Because I'm like C. Like C S E E and then C. Nah, shut up. Anyway, so we got the C. C has a lot of angles. As y'all as I already kinda showed, like you got a lot of angles that you could challenge from. A ton. I'm gonna go back over them again. But you have a ton of angles you can kind of challenge from, and it's just kind of dumb. But you can also go down towards B, just like on A, and wrap around. I feel like C also has a better wrap around point because of this little block in particular, and because you kind of hide here and get cover, and if you need to dip. You can kind of dip pretty easily too. So there's that. Besides that, that's typically how you want to play this map. You want to play it to the strengths of mid. You have mid control, you have map control. Period. If you play B, that's great and all. But here's the problem with playing B. When playing B, you're most likely, because if you're giving them mid control, you might, you might still spawn AOC, but if you have B control, I mean, you just don't have many angles to actually shoot anybody from, you know? But they can get angles behind lots of rocks and lots of stuff, you know? Like, look, from this side, they have, uh, fuck, dark. They have the mid, the rock thing. They have, on this side, they can use pride rock or big rock. They can use that rock. They can hide in the back of candles back there. Like, they have so many different places they can go. You have a couple places too, but the problem with this is, it is not a very good angle, as you can see. You you just don't really have you don't have good angles down here. You don't have good angles. <laughs> you just don't. So, you have mid control. That's G. Basically. Um, but yeah, this map wasn't really too complex. Nothing really too too like. Spectacular, spectacular to go over here. Um, that's basically the map in a nutshell, though. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to be uploading the final uh, tournament match we had Wednesday. Friday, um, I don't know yet. Probably going to be another uh, funny compilation, maybe. And next week, you might see an introduction to other games as well on the channel. Um, probably some Apex Legends. Uh, there's some other stuff too I don't know yet but thanks for watching I hope you all enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next one deuces